It is written and illustrated by Helmi Hymas. I want to tell you, first of all, after I read this book, if you need an AR test, you may take it because it is an AR book. It is 3.2 points. Well, so here we go. Every morning when Charlie Rooster strutted into the barn to wake up the other animals, Johnny Mouse and Fat Percy went with him to help. Good friends always stick together, they said. When this job was done, they wheeled their bicycle out of the barn and set off on their morning ride. So can you look at this picture? Do you guys, who, who do you think are the best friends? Um, the chicken. I think it's the mouse. The chicken, the mouse. And the pig. The pig? Okay, so let's try. Let's see if you guys are right. Okay. They would ride down the roughest paths and up the highest mountains. No curve was too sharp for them and their bicycle. No puddle was deep enough to stop them. So who, who, who voted the chicken, the pig, and the mouse? Me. You see the little mouse on the pedal? Yeah. He must be doing the pedaling, huh? Me. Okay. One day, they played a game of hide and seek by the village pond. They have this recording. While Johnny Mouse was hiding, he discovered an old boat lying on the tall green grass. He showed his friends, and they decided to play pirates. Good friends always decide things together, they said. See the pig with the eye patch? Oh, yeah, nice. ah, he's a really good pirate, huh? Johnny Mouse took the tiller. Does everybody know what a tiller is? No. That's what steers the boat. Oh. Charlie Rooster opened his wings to make the sail, and Fat Percy plugged up a hole on the side of the boat by sitting in it. Wow, they're friends. They all work together, huh? They sailed out into the open water, and as the day went on, they felt very brave and bold, and they conquered the village pond. Whoa, you see them? They're just having some fun in that boat. But hunger finally gave way, and they sailed back to shore. First, they tried to catch a fish, but their stomachs rumbled so loudly that they frightened all the fish away. Then they went looking for cherries. They shared them, some for Johnny Mouse, some for Charlie Rooster, and twice as many for Percy. Johnny Mouse didn't mind, but Charlie Rooster complained. He said it was unfair. So they gave him some more cherry. Friends are always fair, they said. Are friends always fair? With yes. Us? Yeah, we try to be, huh? We always try to be kind, too. Mm -hmm. They ate so many cherries that they all got stomach aches, and they had to sit down for a while before they started back. You guys see them sitting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look like they have belly aches. Yeah. yeah. They look happy to me. They do. I love cherries. I'd be happy too. As evening fell and the shadows grew longer, they bicycled home. You see? I love how the rooster is the lead and the mouse is doing the pedals. Behind the hen house near the water barrel, they swore to be friends forever. Good friends always stick together, they said. They decided to spend the night at Johnny Mouse's house, but Charlie Rooster got stuck in the doorway. Then Fat Percy invited them to spend the night with him, but Johnny Mouse said he didn't want to sleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Of course, that's where the pig would live, right? Finally, Charlie.
Charlie Rooster suggested sleeping in the hen house. They tried to rest on a perch high above the ground, but it broke. So sadly, they just said good night to each other and went to their own homes. Sometimes good friends can't be together all the time. But that night, they dreamed about each other and the way true friends always do. The end. So how many people have good friends? Lots of them. How many people spend the night together? No, no. Actually, as an adult, my friend you can't spend, spend the night because she's married. Not my house. Married, Not so can't time. spend the night. But we'll have a vacation sooner or later. So, if you guys want to take an AR test, this is an AR book. You two want to take a test? Okay. So, come get the book. We're good, Judy.